Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, showing you guys how to create custom gun and melee weapon skins for Unturned so you can upload them to the curated workshop. This has been a highly requested tutorial and I'm super excited to finally bring you it. Before I go any further, this tutorial will not teach you how to take your finished skin and put it actually in the game. That process is considerably more complex than say, putting a shirt or a pair of pants into the game, I currently don't know how to do that, so if I'm able to figure it out in the future, I'll be sure to create a video showing you guys how to do so and get some better screenshots for your skins. But with that out of the way, let's get right into it. Now in today's tutorial, I'm going to be creating a skin for the Shadow Stalker, turning it from this into this, the Lightning Shadow Stalker. Also, remember that creating skins for any weapon is all the same, so it doesn't specifically have to be a shadow stalker that you're making here. Feel free to follow along to this tutorial using a different gun if needed. The process is the same. Additionally, once we've created some cool skins for the game, I'll show you how to properly upload it to the Curated Workshop page where people can vote yes in hopes of it being added to the vanilla version of the game. By the way, the Lightning Shadow Stalker is uploaded to the Curated Workshop at the time that this video is uploaded because I'm going to show you guys how to upload it to the Curated Workshop by uploading my own skin. So don't forget to vote yes on that one ha <laughs> but anyway before we get started creating some skins make sure that you have these three programs unity 5 the free personal edition is okay in image editing software i'm going to be using photoshop uh the only thing is that you need to have one that has like layers and art tools for you to use Photoshop and GIMP work great. Uh, I will put the link for GIMP down below. Photoshop does cost money, obviously. Then of course there's Blender. Now don't stress about using Blender and Unity here. There is no modeling or coding required when making a skin. This is a complete beginner's tutorial, so there's nothing to worry about here. The download links for those two programs will be in the description down below. Let's start by opening up Unity and creating a new project. In this instance, we'll be calling it Skin Factory because we'll be using it for any of our future skin making needs. We can keep the locations in the Documents folder just for ease of access. Make sure it's on 3D and create a project. Now, once this actually loads up, we're just going to minimize it, leave it be, and we're going to head into Steam, right click Unturned, go into Properties, Local Files, and Browse Local Files. Then head into the Bundles folder, then into Sources, and then into skins. Now here you'll see a ton of Unity package files for every single gun, melee weapon, attachment, and magazine in the game. Basically anything that can be skinned. Now the melee and guns files will be the ones that we're wanting to focus on, but since there's no harm in adding just all of these into our project file, just select all these packages and drag them into your Unity project, just like so. It will take a little bit of time for this to uh, import, but leave it be for a little bit, and after this we will have everything. Now once everything has been imported, you now have easy access to all the models and textures of every single gun, barrel, grips, guns, mags, all that stuff right there available at your fingertips. We got the ace right here. You can see the ace model here looking good. All that stuff, it's all available to you. Now you might need to individually drag each package file into this assets folder. It may take a little bit more time, but still it shouldn't be too long. Just make sure that you're dragging each one and every single one into this assets folder and it will automatically sort all the rest of the folders for you. Now in my instance, I'm creating a Shadow Stalker skin. So let's head into the guns folder, find Shadow Stalker right here, and be greeted by all of this stuff. Now, it may be a little bit intimidating at first. The only thing that we're gonna need to focus on right this instant is model underscore source. All this other stuff we're gonna deal with later. So right now, just double click on model underscore source, and if you had Blender installed, it will automatically open it up in Blender. And as you can see here, we have the nice Shadow Stalker model right here in the middle on the left side, and on the right side is going to be our texture, but it's not there. To make it there, just click Tab, and it will now reveal the wireframe of the model on the left side and on the right side. The right side is the unwrapped version of the Shadow Stalker, and the left side is obviously the 3D version. Now we are going to need to export this UV map. Now to export that UV image, we're going to be clicking this UVs button to the right of image and to the left of this drop-down list, and we're going to head to export UV layout. 
And this will open up a new window where it's wanting us to save our PNG image of that UV layout on a location on our computer. By default, it will head into the gun folder of our skin factory project, which is exactly where we want to save it, hopefully. If it didn't automatically go here, it's users, your username, documents, skin factory, if you name your Unity project that, and assets, games, sources, models, items, guns, and then whatever gun you're using. And we're gonna be renaming this as layout underscore 2048 by 2048. We're calling it 2048 by 2048 because that is the size of the image that we're going to be creating. Now if you are creating a layout for a small weapon like an ace or a colt or maybe a butterfly knife or something that's just one-handed and small, the size of the image is going to be 1024 by 1024. We'll click out of that, give that its name, and then we're also going to actually set the size of it to 2048 by 2048. That was just the name up there. So down here under size we're going to type in 2048 on both of them to make it a perfect square and then we're going to set the fill opacity to zero so that it's creating the image as only lines so once it's png image 2048 by 2048 fill opacity zero and the name layout underscore whatever resolution you set it as you can click export uv layout and it will export that uv layout Heading back into Unity, you'll notice that we now have that layout 2048x2048.png in there. Right now we're going to right click and go to show in Explorer. And now we're going to be dealing with these two little guys right here, Albedo and layout 2048x2048 or 1024x1024 if you did a smaller gun. And we'll be opening up our image editing program, Photoshop in my case. We're going to file new and create a new image 2048 by 2048 again or if you did a smaller gun we're going to be doing 1024 by 1024 nothing else 72 pixels by inch that's fine um, and then we'll have this image here and we'll start by adding our albedo png image right here we'll drag it up to size like so and this is the vanilla texture of the shadow stalker we will just be using this as reference in regards to colors if you want to keep things similar to that also it just gives something to be a background for this layout image right here because against the transparent background like this it can be a little bit difficult to see so having albedo on the background helps helps you see these lines a little bit better so anyway as i said earlier when we set our opacity to zero um, it's now only showing the lines so it's going to feel like a coloring book when you are creating this texture now from here let's get drawing i mean make yourself a nice skin make sure to manage your layers too when you are creating your skin because once you finish your skin and put it on the model for the first time i can guarantee there will be some things that you want to change and having stuff on different layers here will make it easier to manage you're probably already wondering how the heck you're supposed to figure out all this stuff up here and this stuff over to the side i mean it's obvious that this stuff right here are the sides of the shadow stalker but to figure out the other stuff you're gonna need a bit more information instead of guessing what goes where just head back into blender and we can select all these different regions and it will show their corresponding location on the model here so just click a and it will automatically deselect everything or just click a until it deselects everything and then on the model right here we can begin selecting regions like for example if we wanted to know what this little indent on the side corresponds to on this side right here we just right click each region holding shift like so and we are now aware that that region right there corresponds to this right here so we can head into the image editing program and then we can paint that region like that and now that little side region is blue but anyway so you're just gonna have to be going back and forth back and forth trying to figure out okay uh, all the stuff for this little region here corresponds to those locations over to the right and then you head back into the image editing program and then you paint those stuff like that so just head back and forth between those different programs selecting different regions on the 3d model to figure out what corresponds to what and your skin will be looking pretty good now i have already finished my lightning shadow stalker so we can just drag that in and pa chow ka chow ka chow look at it. lightning shadow stalker looking good so anyway this is kind of an example of what a finished skin might look like here's what it looks like with the layout up on front you can see that I have uh, painted some certain regions of the gun like so with some gradients going down the barrels here and then I got the lightning design going down the side of the weapon stuff like that now from here once you do have your finished design disable the layout so that you're only looking at the texture that you made and save it 
Now this is somewhat important. When it comes to saving this image, it's important to save it in your Unity project folder in the same location that we saved our layout so that when we are editing, we can easily just overwrite it from Photoshop and then it will instantly update the texture on the 3D model from within Unity. We don't need to re-import the image over and over and over for each edit that we want to do. So you can easily just navigate into documents and then head on down to skin factory, then into assets, games, sources, models, items, guns, and then into shadow stalker, and then save it in here as a PNG. We will call it, instead of regular albedo, since that's reserved for the vanilla texture, we will call it lightning albedo, and save it in there. So now we have our little lightning texture here on Photoshop, and then if we head into Unity, we now have the lightning albedo in this image. So um, let's say there was something that you didn't like about the image. Once we actually get it on the texture and we find out that we don't like that little red thing there, it's as simple as actually just overwriting the image that we just made, you know, this lightning albedo, you, you make the changes that you need to make, and when you overwrite it and head back in here, it will automatically update it just like that. So it's important to just save it in this folder. But anyway, when it comes to actually getting the skin on the gun, it's quite simple. Now at this point, you're gonna have your new albedo image, your new texture image, or whatever you wanna call it, and then we'll have material and model zero. These three things are what we're gonna be dealing with here. To start, we're gonna drag model zero out into the scene, and we're gonna zoom in on by either using the scroll wheel or holding right, and then using WSD, like you're moving like uh, unturned camera controls, like so. So right click WSD, and we'll move around. Now, if you drag this material out here, it will apply the vanilla albedo texture to the Shadow Stalker and it will look like a regular Shadow Stalker. I mean, look at that. That is the vanilla Shadow Stalker of Unturned. Now, um, in this instance, we just created a nice skin for the Shadow Stalker, so we're gonna be wanting to replace this material with a new albedo. And, and instead of replacing the vanilla material here, let's just create a new material here. Create material and we'll call it Lightning Shadow Stalker. And then we'll be dragging this Lightning Albedo PNG into this little window right here and it will automatically update the little sphere with the texture and then from here we drag this out onto the model and here is the lightning shadow stalker looking good now i i've already done a whole lot of tweaking so i mean that lines up the way i wanted to and same with the other side but you know when you first drag your model onto or when you first drag your texture onto the model there are some things that you're going to want to change and as i said earlier you can very very quickly edit this and have it instantly update right here and uh, once you've created your finished skin, uh, you're good to go. And as I said earlier, I don't currently know how to put the skin into the game for screenshots. So the way I've handled my screenshots is by screen capping this little window here. It's a lot easier to disable the skybox by clicking this little picture frame here. Um, and then it will be easier to mask out the background. But anyway, I would just kind of gyazo this little thing here. And then I would go into Photoshop and add on a different background or something. But anyway, you can just head around in this Unity window. You can begin taking some screenshots of your skin and then Photoshopping it and bedazzling it and making it look good. Or you can just leave it as the raw images, whatever. Just make sure that your screenshots are 1280 by 720. That's just the resolution that they need to be uh, for the preview images on the Steam Workshop. And uh, once you do have your preview images and your skin available to you, the finished skin that's looking good, we need to actually upload it to the curated workshop on your desktop or some sort of easy to access place, we're gonna create two folders, one of which is gonna be called preview and the other called texture. Now the name doesn't really matter, I mean just for organization's sake, it's gonna help to have them be uh, named those, I guess, but you can really name them whatever you'd like. Uh, within the texture folder, we're gonna create a new folder within that with the name of your skin. In this case, it's gonna be called lightning, light, light. I can never type lightning properly. I don't know, it's very difficult. Lightning Shadow Stalker. So we're gonna create a new folder within a folder called Lightning Shadow Stalker. Uh, within the texture folder and within the Lightning Shadow Stalker folder, we're gonna drag a duplicate of our, uh, our, of our texture that we just made. So we'll head into Unity where we saved it. We'll right click our Lightning Albedo or whatever your texture was. We'll click Show in Explorer. And then we will copy this right here, copy, and we will paste it 
into the folder within the folder here. It has to be organized like that. It needs to be a folder within a folder and a file within that folder. It just, just do it. Okay, just do it. Now, in regards to the preview image, we do not need to do a folder within a folder. We can just drag our favorite preview image into that folder. In my instance, I think my favorite preview image is this one right here. It's a nice little angle of it. So this is going to be the image that people are going to see when they are browsing the homepage of the curated workshop. So make sure that you, you kind of include your cover image or your favorite image uh, within this preview folder. Now, once again, we'll copy this, we'll paste it in there. And now, just as one big check, uh, we have two folders in our desktop, one called preview and with one single cover image. And we have another folder called texture with another folder inside it called whatever you named your skin. And then our texture in there with whatever you called it. Now, once you have those two things, we can go ahead and start up Unturned. Once you actually get into the home page of Unturned, we'll head into the work shop button and then into submit. Uh, to start, we'll start with the name. We'll call it lightning shadow stalker like so or whatever the name of your skin is. We'll call it ASDF for the description because it's a lot easier to edit the description in the Steam client rather than just in this line. Uh, so we'll just call it ASDF. Now in regards to the collection path, this is the path to your actual texture image. If you guys remember, uh, we created that texture uh, folder on the desktop with a folder within a folder. So we will head into the texture folder and um, instead of going in here and right clicking the properties and getting this location here, we will head into the texture folder that we created on the desktop. We will right click the folder that we made within that, go into properties and copy this location. For most of you guys, it will be users, your username, desktop and texture. So once we've gotten that, we will just paste it in there and leave it be. We will not add anything else. We will not add that type of image or we'll not add the name of the folder that we put inside that texture folder. We will leave it just as that. The preview image, we are going to need to specify that we want to use this specific image. So we will right click this image, go into properties, grab the location again. This time it is C users me like big boom desktop preview. We will add a backslash to the end of that preview uh, word there. And then we'll go back into properties here. We will copy the name of it preview underscore two or whatever you named your uh, your image there. And then we have dot JPEG very, very important to add dot JPEG to the end or if it's a PNG image, you'd add PNG to the end. If it's a GIF image, you'd add dot GIF to the end whatever you add the ending to it. Mine is a JPEG image. So I add dot JPEG to the end in regards to change. No, I do not believe you can change that from within the steam client. So do not set that as ASDF, you are going to need to give an actual change note. Since this is the first version, we will call it version 1.0 added the skin looking good. And then we will specify that this is a skin and it is for the shadow stalker right there. And then we will set it to public so that we can tweak some stuff, add images, actually add the description, stuff like that, and then make it public. Um, and then it will be under the curated workshop section. Once you have this ready to go, you can click create and it will hopefully remove all that junk that you entered in. It will take a little bit of time and then show you uh, your item in the curated workshop. We have our preview image here. It uploaded our, uh, our actual image to the curated workshop. You can vote yes or no thanks as to whether or not you would like to see it in the game. You also need to, uh, if you made the skin with somebody else, you'd figure out some revenue sharing for the item and stuff like that. If it's the first time you've uploaded something to the curated workshop, you're going to need to enter in tax information and stuff like that. But anyway, from here, you can begin to edit title and description, add more images and videos. If you have those, you can add links. You can also download the file. If you accidentally deleted your raw one, you can add links to your Twitter, or Facebook, YouTube. I mean, all this is pretty self-explanatory from within the Steam client. Um, and then once you have that all good to go, you can change the visibility to public instead of hidden, and then it will become available to everyone in the curated workshop. But anyway, that is how you upload a curated skin to the workshop. Very, very awesome. I can't wait to see what kind of skins you guys create for the curated workshop. Be sure to tweet me something that you are currently working on or something that you've currently finished and already uploaded. If you guys are having any sort of trouble throughout this entire process, be sure to comment your little epidemic down below and I will do my best to help you. But anyway, that is all I have for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and vote yes on that lightning shadow stalker in the description down below. And do all that gibberish because me like this. Big boom.
Inside Out.